Hey guys, what's going on? This is Joe from Excel by Joe. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm uh, actually feeling a little, little tired. I uh, actually had my COVID shot uh, yesterday, and I'm just a little achy, but not too bad. But I wanted to get these videos out, so let's get to it. Um, in this video, what I am um, going to do is show you a way to backtest uh, baseball game logs to help us better predict which players are going to hit home runs. I mean, when you're playing DFS, if you can get the guy who hits the home run, it's going to be huge. So we're going to backtest some data to help to kind of help with that. Um, so before we get into it, uh, smash the uh, thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe, and check out my links below to my video course at SpreadsheetSchoolDFS.com and my uh, lineup building tools at OptimizeLineups.com. So what we've got here is the game logs for baseball. Um, this is from last year just, um, but you can do this obviously on any year. Um, you can get these at BigDataBall.com. I'll have the link below the video. Um, I'm not affiliated with them, but they they have some pretty cool uh, cool game logs there. Here we go. So we've got all the players, and what I'm going to do is make a little summary tab here. So here's the summary, and this is just where we're going to kind of tr keep track of everything. Um, I've already change the batting order. So here's the batting order. I took out all the players who had at-bats <clears throat> or even played appearances but weren't in a starting batting order because I don't really care about them. I mean, you're not going to play people really that aren't in a sta starting lineup. So first we want to kind of have a baseline. So we've got home runs here. We want to first see how many games there are. <clears throat> and if I highlight this, there's 17, 119. So this is just, I'm calling this all. We'll call this home runs. This is the population. And this is the home run percentage. So the population of all, 17, 119. Let's see how many home runs um, there were. So for this, I'm just going to get rid of all the zeros. And we got 2240. So there's 2,240 times the player hit a home run. And then let's just calculate this percentage. And we're looking at about 13% of the time uh, players going to hit a home run, which is good. I mean, that's actually quite a bit. Um, but that's roughly one in eight times um, they're going to hit a home run. But let's start doing a. Uh, let's start back testing a few things and see if we can find um, find some criteria that can help us. So we're going to add a few uh, pieces to, uh, to back test. Okay, so we're going to add the columns, but first what we want to do is sort this data. So I'm going to go to data and sort. We want to sort by player name first, and then we want to sort by the date. And we went from uh, newest to oldest. So it's going to kind of be descending. There we go. So we got the players' names. And we got the date. So now we were able to check how they did in their last game. Because if they did good in their last game, a lot of times they're, they're kind of on a hot streak. So, And we're going to just add five different columns. And those will be items we're going to check. First, we're going to just check if there's a home run. Well, that really got big there. So we're going to check if there's a home run, and to do that, all we're going to do is an if statement. If this cell is greater than zero, then they obviously hit a, hit a home run, then we'll put yes. Otherwise, I'll put quote, end quote for no. And then I'll copy that down. So this will tell the yeses and nos if there's a home run. That'll help us when we're, we're doing our checks. Next, we're going to check, did he hit a home run last game? So here, what we want to do is we want to first we want to do an if statement or actually we can do this with an and statement so we're going to do and we don't even have to do it this will just an and statement will just give us a true or false and for the and we want to check if this name equals this name so we want to make sure that the line before it was this player because sometimes once it switches players we don't want to i mean if the if two different players hit a home run who cares we don't we don't want to know that so, if this equals this, 
and if this cell is greater than zero. So we put parentheses. So if these names are the same, and if there's a home run yesterday, this will be the, the cell that we're back testing to see if a home run was hit there. So it's false, but we're going to copy this all the way down, and we're going to get so we've 17,000 lines to check. So we've got quite a bit of, of back testing we can do. So it should give us a pretty accurate result. So now we're going to check home runs in the last seven games. Okay, and to calculate the home runs for the last seven, we're going to use the sum ifs function. So we're going to sum if a bunch of criteria match what we want. So what's the sum range? It's just going to be home runs. The criteria range one is the name. So everywhere it's AJ Pollock. Criteria range two is the date. So we want check here, and we want everything before 1027. So quote, less than quote, and 1027. Because we 1027 is our, our back testing date. We don't want to um, have that in our sums. And then the last one, we want in the last seven days. So now we're testing, checking here again, and now we have to do quote greater than quote, and and then we want this minus, I'll just put eight. So um, it'll give us like the net last eight days. End parentheses, press enter, and there's zero. So I'm going to double click it down. We'll get to see how many home runs. There we go. And see, we can kind of tell, like all these zeros, but here, here we have three. And if you look across, here's the home run column. And look, he had, he had two there and he had one there. So there's his three homers. So we know that it works. So we've got that all set. We want two more to check. We want home runs in the last three, which is pretty much the exact same formula. So all I'm going to do is just copy this formula and paste it in here. But I'm going to change this to the last four days. So then it'll um, basically include the last, last three days of games. Or four, I'm not sure exactly how, how it works, if it includes the fourth day or if it doesn't, but. So this is just going to be, um, this, these are kind of criteria to kind of see, then we're going to check to see like if the player is hot, like if they're hitting a lot of home runs in the last three games, last seven days, does that help them? And we want to check their average over the last seven. So this is kind of going to be the same formula here, other except we're not counting home runs, but I'm going to paste it here. But instead of summing up column S, which is home runs, we just want to sum up the hits, which is column M. Because we want to figure out the average. So it's M colon M. So that's going to give us how many hits we have. Now we have to sum up. So I'm going to copy this and divide by, paste it in, and now by at bats, which is column K. So instead of M, we're going to put K in here. And he had a 250 batting average. Let's format this to make it look like a batting average, oh, not percentage. And copy this down. And it's calculating, and then it's going to give us all our, all our formulas. And then we can back, start back testing this. However, before we do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all of this. I want to get rid of all these formulas. So I'm going to do copy, then right over it, paste special values. Because if you have all these formulas, every time we do a filter on it, it's going to have to recalculate everything, and it's just going to take forever. And there's there's definitely other ways we can summarize this, but I'm just going to show, the way I'm going to show you is with filters. It's really the simplest way to, to check it. It's a little more manual, but uh, I like doing it this way sometimes. So home runs in the last game. True. So there was 2,205 times that happened where a player hit a home run in the last game. Let's see if that makes a difference. Home runs, yes. 333 times that person hit a home run. And let's copy our percentage over. 15%. So if they hit a home run yesterday, they got a slightly better percentage chance of, of hitting a home run today which kind of makes sense. Now let's 
clear out all these filters. And let's check home runs in the last seven days. Uh, let's say if they hit at least three home runs, let's say, in the last seven days. 835 times that occurred. And let's see how many home runs were hit then. 160. 19%. So that's uh, definitely increasing quite a bit. Let's uh, let's tweak this a little bit. Let's say instead of three home runs in the last seven, they hit four home runs or more in the last seven days. That's quite a bit. But that only happened 271 times. But, I mean, this was only over... I mean, this was a shortened season last year, so there was what, maybe 100 days of games. Uh, so this happened maybe three times a day. So that's, that's quite a bit. So what do we say? 271, 271 times. And let's check the home runs. 64 times. Uh, there we go, 24% of the time. So we've almost doubled their chances of uh, hitting a home run, as long as they hit four home runs. And let's just, let's look at these last ones, see if they're, uh, in the last three days, let's say if they hit at least two home runs in the last three days, 793 times, it's quite a bit. Actually, I should put titles on these so we remember, two home runs in the last three. This was at least four home runs in the last seven. Three home runs in the last seven. This was home run yesterday. And let's see how many home runs were hit. 125. 16%. So it's not too much. But let's change it again to three let's get rid of the, the filter here so they hit at least three home runs it's 137 times that happened so it's roughly one or two times a day you you'd be able to find this in 29 times they hit a home they hit a home run that's 21 percent so so far this is look like those four home runs in the last seven days But let's just check the last category. And batting average. Let's say here we can just do greater than if they're batting at least 400. Uh, 50, that's quite a bit. Let's make it a little higher. Let's say at least 450. 862 times. And so this is a greater than 450 average. Let's see how many home runs they hit. If average kind of kind of plays into this, 113 times, 13 percent. So batting average is, is not as much of a factor as uh, as home runs are. And this can be done like with any stats. These are just ones that I picked. Let's just look at one more. But how about we say? Greater than 450, let's look at two filters now. Greater than 450, and let's say um, two home runs in the last seven. So they're at least hitting some home runs also. So we've got all of these. We've already got the filter on the batting average 450. Here, let's get rid of zero and one home runs. So it's 204 times, it could, so that maybe it happens two or three times a day. 204 times, and let's see how many home runs were hit. 33. And it's 16%. So the batting average doesn't have as much as hitting a lot of home runs do. But that's just how you backtest for home runs. I mean, we can do this many other, other stats. You can put slugging percentage in here. Um, we can also check home and away 
also like if we say if we get rid of the filters which was our our best one here four home runs in the last seven so we get rid of all of these 271 times but what if they're playing at home 123 times it occurs so that's four home runs in the last seven at home let's see how many home runs were hit 35 out of 123 28% so we've got our highest one it looks like uh, four home runs or more they're playing at home it's almost 30% chance that you're gonna hit, get someone to hit a home run and there's just many other categories and stats you can look at you can look at if you're on the road maybe what what field they're playing at um, tons of different other stats you want to look at but those are just the main ones I wanted to check to show you how you can back test to um, help predict home runs hope you like this uh, click, click the thumbs up if you liked it and um, let me know if you got any questions check out my video course at uh, spreadsheetschooldfs.com and my lineup building tools at optimizelineups.com uh, so you guys have a great day. Good luck in your games, and I will see you later.